Hello, everybody. How are you doing? We do have a pretty good update tonight on Idaho 4. I'm going to read the new order that just came out from the judge. So as we're all aware, Brian Koberger is accused of killing Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin. It was around 4 a.m. on November 13th, 2022, in their off-campus home in Moscow, Idaho. Since then, he and his legal team have been seeking specific details about how law enforcement used investigative genetic genealogy, also IgG, to identify him as a suspect after he allegedly left a K-bar knife sheath with his DNA on it under Miss Mogan's body. So the state, the um, Lata County Prosecutor's Office, handed over all the IgG information to the judge back on December 4th. So, and that was 2023, of course, but he's had a little over a month now to go through everything, trying to determine what should be shared with the defense, what shouldn't be, if things are going to be sealed or public or redacted. We already knew it was going to be sealed, right? So he has made his decision. And I was looking at my notes from when he originally made the order granting the um, defense motion for the IgG information. So there were two, there was a good argument on each side. I remember doing a video about this. So the state's argument that the IgG investigation is wholly irrelevant since it was not used in obtaining any warrants and it's not going to be used at trial is well supported. The judge wrote at one point because I have it in quote here. Now Koberger is entitled to view at least some of the IgG information in preparing his defense even if it may ultimately be found to be irrelevant. So that is a little bit of an update or kind of a recap. So this is when they handed everything over. All right, so here is the new order. I'm going to read it for you guys. Public Order for Disclosure of IgG Information On October 25th, 2023, the court issued an order addressing IgG DNA and order for in-camera review that addressed the state's motion to prevent the disclosure of the investigative genetic genealogy IgG information to the defense and the defense's motion to compel discovery of all information pertaining to the IgG investigation. On November 30th, what I just showed you, the state submitted to the court in camera all IgG information pertaining to the state's investigation from both the FBI and a private laboratory. The court has now completed its review of the information provided by the state and orders the state to discover to the defense a portion of the IgG information. The specific material to be provided is set forth in a sealed order to protect the privacy of the IgG information, including individuals on the family tree. Ha! Huh. Well, there you have it. That's just the mailing down there. It's very important for the defense to be able to put on every bit of evidence that they can possibly be allowed. I mean, it's a, it's a death penalty case. We might as well. I want to be sure no matter what. So, and as, as you know, it could end up being ruled irrelevant later. We don't know. But, I'm glad that he has decided to hand over at least some of the information. And I know we can get some hints 
of what he is telling them to release just by reading it. So we know that the, the samples did get to the FBI and then to a private laboratory. And let's see. Where's that other part? They are going to show how they got to him directly. And again, it was this is the the DNA of his dad that they used for IgG. So it's going to be quite interesting to see that later, right? All right, well, that is the new order. You guys have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.